Well, hello everyone, Red Lady Speaks here coming to you guys with a quick video. In this video here, I just want to talk about some of the best chickens, the quietest chickens to have if you live in a city or urban or suburban type area. So let's jump right into it. so much for stopping by my channel if this is not your first time welcome back if this is your first time welcome 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 i hope that you do decide to join the family and stay by hitting that like button that subscribe button and of course ringing that bell now i always like to let you guys know that this is a very diverse channel i talk about all types of things on this channel from my chickens to my parrot to my german shepherd my american bully my weight loss journey my christian journey I talk about any and everything on this channel but a lot of my content lately is going to be about chickens because i am a first time chicken owner i'm learning so much i'm researching so much and hopefully i can take all the information that i researched and found and maybe save you some time you can decide whether or not you want to start keeping chickens for yourself if you thought about it or maybe you can learn something new may i there's no way that i can cover everything in these short videos so if you have more tips make sure you do leave them down in the comment section below well before we get into you know different breeds of chickens that it will be really really good if you live in a suburban or a city or urban type area um let's let's talk about some things to kind of look for now the first thing you want to do is you want to actually find out what the rules are in the city ordinances are in your city um like when I lived in the city, we could have hens, but we couldn't have roosters in the city so um you want to make sure that you do actually um find out what the rules are because you don't want to spend money on chickens and housing and everything and end up having to get rid of them so make sure you do check with your homeowners association make sure you do check with your um go down to city hall check out the city ordinances and just and just find and, and you could just look at it online i'm saying go down to city hall it's 2023 you can just look it up online um under your um under your city's um website so make sure you learn that the next thing you want to do is you want to learn about the specific breed that you are going to get and i do want to let you know is if you are in an area where you cannot have roosters i would suggest going with a type of chicken breed that can be auto sexed at birth because when you go to track supply you go to these different places and even if you order them online you it does say that there's a, a 10 percent chance that you can end up with the rooster even though it's, it's not a 100 percent guarantee it's about a 90 percent guarantee and one thing that i am finding um just looking at different groups um roosters are very very hard to rehome so i will go with an auto sexing um like a cream leg bar or a um barred rock or black sex wing or something like that where it can be sex at birth where you know you have a hen and not a rooster because it can be very 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 difficult to get rid of them if you end up having a rooster when you thought you had a, had a ham and i would definitely research the breed because if you're going through different facebook groups and things of that sort with sometimes there are scammers there they have the chickens but sometimes if they know that you're not educated on the breed of chicken they will sell you a they will purposely unload their roosters on you i had that happen to me someone actually unloaded their roosters on me uh, unloaded i think like five roosters on me so um they told me that they were pullets but they ended up being roosters if i had studied the breed more i would have known that they would have been roost i would have known that they were roosters because they had that really prominent white dot on their head but it's fine it's fine it's fine um luckily for me i do live in an area where i can have roosters i do have the space where i can let my roosters free reign um everything has a purpose on the homestead so my roosters will be get put to use but there are some people who will take advantage of your lack of knowledge and they will actually unload their roosters on you because believe it or not roosters are really hard to get rid of so if they think they found a sucker it doesn't know so make sure you do study study the breed and um ask questions ask questions ask questions so i'm gonna let you see my crew so let's jump into the reason that you are here um some of the breeds that are really good to get are at the quieter type breeds that are really good to be kept in an urban or a um or a suburban um setting now the first one is going to be the buff arpenton the buff arpenton is a beautiful beautiful very docile submissive sweet and they are actually known as pet chickens people use them as pet chickens because they don't actually they give an okay amount of eggs they give about 250 eggs a year so you still have them as a pet chicken but they still give you those eggs as well so um they are a dual purpose breed dual purpose breed what that means is that once they're done laying a lot of people 
they they are really they're a nice sized meaty bird so a lot of times when chickens they don't lay eggs their entire life they're just like human women as we get older the less eggs we produce until we're not producing eggs anymore and once they stop producing those eggs a lot of people they do turn them into meat birds because the cost to feed them and they're not getting anything out of them is not worth it not saying that i'm going to do that not saying that you can do that do that but just let you know they are a dual purpose breed bird and they are really really quiet birds the buff arctans are and they're 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 absolutely beautiful Another one here will be the black astrolarp. Now, the black astrolarp in my area, I have not been able to find it locally, um, but they do sell it online at like Tractor Supply, Royal King, things of that sort. So, um, um, Hoover's Hatchery, which which Tractor Supply does use Hoover's hat- Hatchery, um, you can actually find them online that way. Black astrolarps are another dual purpose bred breed. They come from the same genetic line as the Buff Orphanton. So. You still get a really docile, really friendly bird that wants to be around you. And they are a lot more quiet than other breeds, but they are record egg layers. The black, the black Archelarp laid 364 eggs in a 365 day year. So they laid an egg every single day of the year, except for one day. And that is unheard of. So if you're looking for a nice, quiet chicken that you can have, a friendly chicken that you can have around your children, the black Archelarp, I should have put it as number one, but the the black Archelarp is the way to go. Um, now they do take about six months to mature just like the buff orphan you know they're from the same genetic line they do take about six months to mature the next one on my list will have to be the wine dye wine dye is um they can come in a variety of different kind of colors you have blue i have um two blue lace wine dots one of them is right i don't know if you can see let's see one of them is right there that is one of my blue lace wine dots right there so um yeah they are amazing amazing birds they are a dual purpose and they are a heritage bird meaning they have been around for years and years and years they come in a whole slew of patterns from blue to silver to gold just all different types of colors and calm and a docile bird as well they are more on the quieter end um they lay about four eggs per week so they're going to give you about two 200 eggs per year um and they are non- very non-aggressive birds very submissive type birds uh you might want to be careful if you keep them around something like a more aggressive bird like a rhode island red kind of watching with the with them but um they are here's one right here i'm gonna see if she'll let me get her to catch one and this is one of my girls one of my blue lace line wine dots as you can see she is absolutely beautiful i can't wait for all her coloring to come in um so we can see how beautiful she's going to be but she's an absolutely beautiful bird i'm gonna put it back down she doesn't really like to be handled but um they are the blue the wine dots depending on what pattern that you get um you can actually breed them um because they can actually end up being rare like the blue in my area the blue lace wine dot is one of the rare ones in my area so if i were to breed them with another blue lace wine dot they could bring me quite a bit of money but they are a more quieter bird i know it didn't seem that way but i was bothering her but they are a more quieter bird um the wine dots are the next one that will be on my list will be the bantam um, chicken, a bantam breed chicken. And some nice bantams can be the, the nankin, the rose carm, or the seabright. Those are really, really nice bantams to have. Bantams are smaller chickens, so they take ch- smaller chickens, so they take up less space. But they are still wonderful, wonderful egg layers. It's just, it may take two bantam eggs to equal one regular chicken egg. So, but they are amazing, amazing, amazing egg layer so just because they're smaller doesn't mean that 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 takes away from the egg laying but that just gives you um a smaller bird a smaller chicken meaning it takes up smaller space if you don't have a lot of space for them and now one of the things about um bantam chickens is they are amazing surrogate mothers like a lot of chickens that we have nowadays we have breeded that whole broodiness and sitting out of them a lot of bantams are used to sit on and had to hatch out other chicken eggs and they make wonderful wonderful surrogate mothers um my dad has um a lot of bantams my dad only has bantams in in his flock and he gets a lot of eggs and um i've i've been out here maybe I think I've lived out here just a few months now and um, his bantams have hatched out chicks um, two or three times and they are are extremely extremely quiet especially the hens now the roosters they will crow early in the morning sometimes I can come and take my 
dump my dog out for 35 o'clock in the morning and the roosters are out here crowing. So the roosters can be pretty loud, but the hens are pretty quiet, except when they have their, their egg laying song or when there's a threat somewhere, they may see a hawk or something. They may make some noise then, but the bantams are really, really quiet. I know that firsthand because my dad has a lot of hens, y'all. That's the only kind of breed my dad has right now. Um, the next one on my list would have to be the Rhode Island Red. Um, it's like the, 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 the Rhode Island Reds. Rhode Island Reds, they are, they are chatterboxes. They do chatter, but they're not noisy, if that makes sense. So you can hear them making a little, but it's not a loud noise. And one thing about the Rhode Island um, Reds as well is they do, sometimes they do tend to be a little aggressive, especially the roosters. So, um, they are known to be the quietest, most proficient egg layers that they are out there like I said they do have their small little chatter sometimes you can barely hear their little chatter but they are the quietest egg layer layers out there um they are a dual purpose heritage breed again they've been here for years and years and years and years and years and they are used for meat as well as um as well as eggs now they aren't a pet type chicken rhode island reds are not the most affectionate birds now mine will come up to me um they aren't affectionate they may come up to me for treats or something like that but they aren't affectionate like lap chickens like the buff orpington or the australot lord may be so um but keep in mind that rhode island reds can also be aggressive but if you're just looking for a quiet bird a quiet egg layer Rhode Island Red is the way to go. Next one on my list, I will say, will be the Plymouth Bard Rock, um, or Bard Rocks. Um, I have plenty of Bard Rocks. You can see some of them up there on my little milk crate thing that I made for them. And they are very, very friendly birds. The Bard Rocks, they usually are around me, but the sun is going down, so they're getting ready to go roost right now. But um, the little striped Bard Bird up there, that is one of my Bard Rocks up there. And they are um, very quiet. They are very friendly. They do really, really well in cooler climates or in long winters. So they do very, very, very well if you live more up north um, in a more suburban type area up north, then a bar route would be a nice chicken for you. And again, they are dual purpose her heritage breed as well. Um, the next one would be a coaching. I don't have any coachings. The next one would be a coaching. I don't have any coachings, but uh, I have heard wonderful, wonderful things about them. Um, they're peaceful and they're lovable birds. They are the like ideal pet bird um they are not the best egg layers they don't lay many eggs at all coaches are mostly kept for pet for being pet birds and for being brooders and surrogate mothers as well um the next one will have to be the americana not the americana because all that is is an easter egg but the americana the official americana that lays the blue eggs now they have amazing amazing features they are beautiful beautiful birds i don't think i've seen any two americanas look just alike they are uh, stunning stunning birds um and they lay, they lay the blue medium-sized eggs and they are docile quiet and calm birds i'm sorry i'm speeding through this right now um the last but not least i will say the um brahma brahma will be last but not least they are gentle giants now they can be intimidating to children and even to some adults because of their size they can get anywhere between 10 to 18 pounds they are huge 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 birds and i actually have um, I'm not going to bother them because the sun is going down. But I actually right here is a blue partridge Brahm Brahma right there. He just moved to the back. But right there is a blue par partridge Brahma. And he's small, but they get really, really huge. And um, they get they do become broody. So if you want to hatch out some chicks, best that's the bird to go with is the um, is a Brahma. If you're looking to hatch out some chicks, and a Brahma would be the way to go. But the thing about the Brahmas is you do have to take the chicks away from them and raise them inside or, or give them to another chicken to raise simply because they are so big, so massive that they can end up cut, crushing their chicks. But they are excellent, excellent winter layers. So if you lay, if you live in a um, colder type area, they do really, really well in winter and cold. They actually lay from October to May. So when other uh, other chickens are not laying, the Brahmas will lay. So if you're just looking for a really, really quiet chicken, like a pet chicken, I should have put this, these girls, the um, Isa Browns, but they, they are a little noisy. But um, as you can see, she's just on me right now. But She's just chilling on me right now. But anyway, um, yeah, so 
those are i don't know how many i gave you guys but those are some birds to definitely research if you're thinking about getting chickens but you live in a urban suburban or a rural uh, or a um city area make sure you know your ordinances research the breeds of birds um make sure I, I would lean more towards the, or the auto sex and features just to make sure because I see I'm in different um, Facebook and online groups where you can buy chickens and rehome chickens and everyone's trying to get rid of their roosters and it's not easy. Uh, I see people struggling like they're not even selling their roosters it's like I would give them away and a lot of people say that they have to call their roosters which is you know basically kill them. Um, so yeah but Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Like I said, there's no way that I can put everything in this one video. If you have any other breeds or any other suggestions for those that are living in city or urban type areas, make sure you leave it down in the comment section below. Talk amongst yourselves. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And as usual, toodaloo. Bye-bye.